Hi, my name is Taisha, and I sometimes have anxiety about my relationship. Hi, Taisha. Yep, I just did that. Okay. The reason why I'm making this video is because I sometimes feel like I have this issue and um, and I don't know, I just feel like every time I have a situation in my head or I go through like some type of transformation within myself, I just feel like I need to share it because I know that I'm not the only one who feels this way from time to time. So with that being said, let's get into this video. And this is, as you know, well, I don't know if you know, but if you've been following me for a while, then you would have seen my celibacy story. I don't know if it's necessarily a story, but I did do a lot of talking about my celibacy and my journey on being celibate. And with that being said, I'm in a relationship now after not being in a relationship for quite some time. And my relationships before that, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so, as you could imagine, just going from nobody, just me, to somebody, not that quickly, <laughs> might have some anxiety, something, 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 anxiety. That's Coyla Ray. I don't remember the, the song, the words, but she said, anxiety and something, something, that's why I always got it on me. That was close. That was close. So, <laughs> let's just get into the video. This is, I didn't think it was going to be this hard to find the definition. This is an amateur's advice against relationship anxiety <laughs> so let's get into it the first definition that popped up on google for relationship anxiety is relationship anxiety describes someone's anxiety towards romantic partners family members or even platonic relationships Though it's not a formal diagnosis, you may look for ways to keep the other person close by clinging, by clinging to them, or you may push them away, unsure if they feel the same way you do. Been there, done that. But now we're recognizing it. <laughs> yeah. This is what happened the last time. Okay, let's see if I can get this in real quick, then get into this group call. And for some reason right here, I put in parentheses, give love or receive love if started with love. I don't remember why I wrote that, but I just felt like it was important to put that there. So, I'm going to start with tip number one. A, A, A. Tip number one is go through the thoughts alone for the most part. Mainly the irrational thoughts from insecurity. So, you know, sometimes you just have those thoughts that's just better left unsaid and better left in your head. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. If you know, you know. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Some thoughts, you know, it's just like, it's just better left unsaid. It's simple as that. I really don't know how much more to there's not really much more that I can add to that. That's tip number one. Go through the thoughts alone for the most part. Mainly just the irrational thoughts from insecurity. That's tip number one. Tip number two is discuss some concerns with your partner. And try not to confuse insecurity with intuition. And if you want more details on that, I'm going to put the link above in one of these corners. One of those little... That's what I tell you because I have a video. Okay, I'm sorry, camera. Because I have a video that I just posted about how to not confuse insecurity with intuition. It's really easy to do. So discuss some concerns with your partner. Try not to confuse insecurity with intuition. 
Discuss some concerns with your partner. You can always talk to your friends, the good friends, not the friends that make it worse. You know what I mean when I say that. <laughs> not the friends that be having you going on a rampage, hiding in bushes. Now, I ain't saying that you don't need those friends, but I'm just saying. Going back to tip number one. Some things is better left unsaid to some heads. <laughs> so talk to your friends, the good friends, and sometimes they can see the things that we cannot see. Sometimes they recognize stuff in ourselves or they recognize stuff in our partners that we are just blinded by. And then also talk to your parents too, if you're able to. That was tip number two. Talk to somebody. Just talk through your concerns with somebody. It's nice to be able to talk to your partner, but it's also nice to have an outside ear. Tip number three, find a hobby. You can listen to some music, do some yoga, do some meditation, find you a book to read, do some workouts. You can even go to work, go to the beach, take a mini vacation. Just try to do all of these things to take your mind away. Try not to spend too much time creating scenarios because oof, that is what really makes anxiety worse. Creating scenarios when, like when I say that, oof, a little hair, a little hair grease dripping in the back. <laughs> but um, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, just if somebody perfect, perfect, perfect example. When your partner doesn't answer the phone. Now, you can easily just be like, oh, he's probably asleep. Or, oh, he might be busy. But then, just as easily as you can have that thought, you can easily go to the dark side. You can go to the dark side and you can go down the rabbit hole of what he could possibly be doing. Oh my God, he could be doing this, he could be doing that. And that's never good. It's never good, and it always gets worse. So it's nice when you have a hobby, when you have something to take your mind off of it. Okay, he's busy, but guess what? You're busy, too. She's busy. Guess what? You're busy, too. Him or her is busy. You're busy, too. Non-identifiable. Non <laughs> like, I can't even say it. I don't even need to say it. What is it? Him, her, non identify. I'm going to leave it at that. If they busy, if somebody doesn't answer the phone, find you something to do other than creating unnecessary scenarios on what that person could be doing and why they're not answering your phone call. That is tip number three. Find a hobby, yoga, meditation. Try not to spend too much time creating scenarios. Now let's go to tip number four. Tip number four is to take yourself on a date. Maybe have a spa day, go to the movies, treat yourself. Because we spend a lot of time thinking. We spend a whole lot of time thinking. And I remember I used to just sit there and wake up and be like, dang, I really be having thoughts every day. Every minute, every second. Like, do I really got to have these thoughts all the time? I really be thinking, thinking. And <laughs> sometimes it's nice to just take a break, okay? Take a break and enjoy life. And also, that's where that meditation comes in where you learn to like, it's not really, you're not really like ridding yourself of your thoughts, but you're getting comfortable having those thoughts and working with your thoughts as as opposed to your thoughts working against you and that's what i feel like my personal definition of anxiety i didn't look this up but i feel like when you're having anxiety that's your thoughts working against you rather than working with you that was tip number four now we're going to the last tip dang that was quick i'm wrapping this shit in the bathroom don't got a shit damn i fucked it up now i'm just gonna have to finish the tip Ooh, she cleaned it up big bars in this thing okay tip number five in this thing dang that's why i'm just gonna stick the saying yeah oh she did it again tip number five for real this time <laughs> big bars anyways 
<laughs> Remember why you like your partner in the first place and focus on that and just make sure you're, you continuously show love. That's tip number five. Remember why you like your partner because sometimes stuff be coming up and it can be real irritating on both ends. I'm not saying that the partner is the only person that can be irritating. I'm sure just as well as you might be getting irritated, they could be getting irritated too. So just remember why you like who you picked. And that's that. <laughs> so these was a uh, quick five tips on relationship anxiety and as I stated in the beginning this is an amateur's advice to relationship anxiety because what I will say about my previous relationships without giving too much information is she's a runner she's a tech star she gon' run away you wouldn't get tired she's a runner she's a tech star she gon' run away you wouldn't get tired yes yeah, so um <laughs> with that being said Thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you out. Leave some comments below. Let me know what's up. Alrighty. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>